Shut up and sit down. Hello everyone, I am the Cyber Riff Guru. Thank you for watching. So in a previous video, I did a tech tip on how to use labels and schematics to help simplify the graphic layout of the schematic. So in this video, we're gonna continue on with that theme and kind of amp up our abilities and use uh, buses, which are just a different form of labels to uh, also dramatically simplify the schematic. So let's get on with it. Okay, so what I've done here is I've created a bus and I've labeled it uh, D0 through D7. And I'm gonna show you how to wire this guy up right here. So if we take this pin here and we attach it, see it automatically says, hey, which one of these signals is it? So in this case, it's gonna be D7. Okay, so now that wires up these two by connecting them with the bus. Now, I could have just ran the wires across, but the problem is, is I want to also attach these resistors there. And running all of the wires down to the resistors would create a hugely complicated mess. So here's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to create another bus, just like this. All right. And I'm going to label this guy as uh, D0 through 7. So... Do you want to connect this in D7? Absolutely, I do. All right, and so let's go with our wiring process here. This guy, however, now is D01, right? So we didn't uh, edit these labels. We just connected them electronically or electrically uh, when we laid down the bus connections and more importantly bam there you go right so from a schematic perspective these are not connected graphically right but they are connected electrically and more importantly here you'll notice that this entire net is also ground because these are auto connected um, and so what that allows you to do is create a much more crisp and clean schematic uh, across the board and I put the VCC on there probably didn't need it so uh, I think let's see can I move this guy now you should be able to let me see move group yeah so I can take this entire group and move it uh, kind of clean up the schematic a little bit now you could uh, can directly connect these two uh, bus wires if you want uh, but now that we label them it's really not uh, important so so there you have it. There is a quick technique to show you how you can use buses to simplify the schematic and still keep all the electrical connections without making all the manual connections and the clutter of having wires run everywhere when you have a lot of different signals. So I hope you like this short little tech tip. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, if you didn't, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. It's very important these days. And we hope to see everyone soon. Thanks.